Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Post Daily Dose. Hello, Facebook. Thank you guys for joining me tonight's episode. We're going to talk about the two sides of attachment. I apologize that Big Papa, your trusted parenting advisor, faithful guide, and servant on the healing journey. What's my name? Big Papa is running a little bit late this evening. Had to pick up a family friend from the airport, and now I've got the oven warming up because I'm going to cook some famous salmon. I love salmon. Um, actually, when my biological mother was pregnant with me, she said she loves salmon. So it's really interesting that I love salmon too. And, you know, those imprints that get formed, this is all going to tie into attachment some way or another. Happy Friday, everyone. So happy. And the other thing I'm going to go do after dinner, so I'm kind of rushing, is I'm going to go to a comedy show, and that's what brings me, hey Debbie, that's what brings me to tonight's topic, the two sides of attachment. So there are two sides of attachment. Number one, attachment is the behavior of the child towards the parent. So you're always hearing about this. You're always hearing about children having attachment disorders, and I don't say attachment disorder, I say being attachment challenged, but the other side is bonding. Bonding is the behavior of the parent to the child. You don't hear about that. In fact, we shouldn't even talk about attachment without bonding because it's a two-way street. But the other side of attachment that I'm talking about, or let me say the two sides, number one is stress. So as long as you're in a state of stress, you cannot develop secure attachment because stress is the separation, right? It is, it is the, the disintegration of the attachment bond. What repairs it and the repair is the most important part because the repair of the stress is what strengthens the attachment bond. So see, it's okay to be stressed. It's okay to have the relationship strained, but it's the repair of it that makes it so important. But one of the other sides of attachment that we don't talk about in addition to the stress is joy. Being happy, having fun, relaxing because laughter releases oxytocin. So a lot of times we're all, especially as parents, we get all stressed up, stressed out, worked up. We want our children to behave a certain way and, and we want them to do certain things. We want the chores to get done. Hey, Stefan from ne the Netherlands, thank you so much for joining me yet again. Thank you for the compliment. For, 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 uh, we get so worked up in having our children conform and do all these things and then we forget to have fun. We forget to laugh. We forget to eat ice cream and, and make goofy faces and play games and, and rough house and tickle. And one of the things I used to do with the boys in the group home, and I really encourage you dads to do if you've got children, take your shirts off, get in the middle of the living room, clear everything out and just have a good old Katie bar to the door wrestling fest. I used to have six boys and I would stack them all on top of one another and just dogpile them and just manhandle them. And they just used to love it. I mean, they used to laugh and get worked up and, and I could let them take me down. They'd pile on top of me. And then I'd wrestle them down and they just had, we had so much fun. And what it did is it developed a level of certainty and security in our relationship that allowed me to have a lot of influence over those young men. But the whole point of tonight's episode is to tell you to have fun. You experience a lot of stress, which creates a great deal of strain on your relationships. And remember, if you are in stress, your cellular system is constricted into survival. You've got to be able to relax, to open up to love in order to build the secure relationship that you want. When you're dealing with problem behaviors, everyone is in survival. You've got to be able to relax at some point in time so you can open up your cellular system, move into thriving, and create the relationship that you want, that you dream of, that you hope for. A big part of that is having joy. And I can't think of a better day for you a better evening for you all to, to create some joy than a Friday evening. Hopefully for most of you, all of your work is done for the week. You've put in your hours, you've put in your time. It's Friday evening. It's time to have fun. It's time to relax. It's time to let go. Like I said, 
I'm going to go to a comedy show. I always look forward to this little place here in, a, I think it's called the Looney Bin here in Oklahoma City. I've been several times. I really enjoy it. I laugh, I laugh, and I laugh. And then I'm also, before I do that, I'm going to have a nice salmon dinner, which is rich in omegas, so it's going to help my brain. It's going to help me feel better. It's just going to help me overall just, just relax, restore my body and replenish because me and my buddy we've been working out every single morning feeling good and so tearing down the muscles to rebuild them to build more muscles and burn that fat so it's all about just it's overall health and i just want you to keep in mind that there's so we deal with so much stress as parents you deal with so many challenges Make the time to have some fun, even if it's for five minutes. Make the time to have some fun. Leslie says, what about the boys actually get mad and violent? That, see, that's the whole, that's the whole point. That's how, that's how my husband and boys wrestling always ends. Well, he's going too long. So he, if you go too long, you go outside of their window of tolerance. So you've got to be, and he is responsible. So the male figure, the adult male figure is responsible for regulating the environment, the emotion. So see, this is really important. Um, it, it's, it's so, it's so important that as the adult male, the reason you do it actually is to increase the testosterone and then to regulate the testosterone. And that builds the security and the certainty amongst the young men. And so creating, creating the opportunity to engage and then regulating it when it starts to get too high, bringing it down. And sometimes I just stop, just stop, say, guys, we're going to calm it down. And we'd all pull it down and I'd say, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then we'd dive back in. So you can't go too long. You've got to regulate the environment, be aware of the window of tolerance, and then pull it down. And if things get out of control, people get mad, upset. That's okay. Let them get mad. Let them get upset. But then dad's got to go repair. So dad's got to go and do the repair. And then dad's got to learn from this situation. Don't stop doing it. It's probably one of the healthiest, best things you can do. So don't stop doing it. Just, just pay closer attention to the signals that are going on. You're learning such intimate details about your boys and about your girls by doing it. And I used to wrestle Marley all the time. I used to wrestle Michaela all the time. So this is not just for boys. This is for girls too. So you just have to pay attention to those signals that they're giving you. And remember that you're responsible for creating the environment that they need. Oh, how do you wrestle when your kid has been sexually abused? Oh, God, you guys are giving me such good questions that I got to get to cooking the salmon. So that's absolutely, if children have been sexually abused, you must wrestle them. Children, this is, so many mental health professionals get this all wrong. They think that because a child has been sexually abused, you can't, you can't touch them a certain way. You can't, you can't, you can't hug them a certain way. They need to be wrestled with a healthy, mature, emotionally secure adult. They need to be wrestled. They need to be touched. They need to be squeezed. They need to be roughhoused and learn that it's not sexual. Let me give you a perfect example with the boys in the group home. These are adolescent boys, mind you, 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. We're wrestling. I got one kid down. I'm straddled over him. 16 year old boy on my back. He starts humping me, right? Humping me. And what do I do? I just stop. And I said, Joe, we're not going to do that. We're, we're, not, we're not doing that. And he says, oh, my bad, my bad. He just got excited. He got excited. He got worked up. In my mature, regulated brain, I just stopped. Said, we're not going to do that, buddy. He says, oh, my bad, my bad. And then we went right on back to wrestling. Don't get overwhelmed by that kind of stuff. It's when you get overwhelmed and you create this taboo around it and the shame that, that you don't get an opportunity to work through it. Children need to learn that there are healthy, secure adults in their world and in this world we live in that aren't going to do inappropriate things with them and take advantage of them. They have to learn that it's okay again. Exactly, Stefan. So they have to learn that it's okay to experience touch. I mean, it's the best thing in the world. You don't want them learning that the only touch, the only touch they've ever experienced is in a, inappropriate touch. You want them to be touched. You want them to be held. You want them to be hugged. You want them to be wrestled. All of that stuff is very, very important. So that's it. Remember, in two, any, any given situation, we always have two choices. We can continue to react from our same past imprints of overwhelm and stress and fear. See, we can react from fear. and We do the same things over and over and expect a different outcome. Or we can stop. We can slow down. We can take three to ten deep breaths. And we can choose love. 
And in love, there's so many different possibilities, so many different solutions and potential. And hey, there's something I want you guys to do. I want you to go right now to www.newparentingloveevolution.com and I want you to listen to the video. I want you to see what's there. It's our membership. It's a, it's a, it's a movie. And I want you to be a part of it. I want you guys to be a part of the love evolution. And I want to be able to join with you. I want to be able to support you. I want to get, get you more education, more information. So I want you to do that for me. I want you to go check it out right now, newparentingloveevolution.com and get, get signed up because if you get signed up, you become a member before January 7th, everyone's going to get a free pass to a, I'm going to do a live two day parenting boot camp in Oklahoma city in 2019. And you're going to get a free pass to it. This a thousand dollar event. You're going to get a free pass by being a love evolution member. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, Big Papa loves you. I hope you have a fantastic evening of joy, relaxation, laughter. I hope you lay your heads down tonight and I hope you are able to get restored, refreshed, re-energized for when you wake up tomorrow, which is Saturday, a beautiful day, and you have a fantastic day. Good night, everyone.